shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me. He gave me a commandment, what I should say, and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Again, I read John 13, verse 44 through 50. God's word has already been blessed, but may he also have a blessing to the hearers of the word. Good morning, church. Good morning. You got to make me see. As I talked to God this morning, I asked that you also talk with you. Because I talk with you. Let us pray. Precious Father, most holy God, we come this morning first and foremost just to say thank you, Father. Thank you for waking us up one more time. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to be in your midst one more time. Thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy. Lord, we realize that you didn't have to wake us up this morning. But, while you did, Father, let us come this morning, Father, to praise you with our whole heart, Father. Lord, because we realize somebody not here today that was here a few days ago. So let us take an opportunity of this and praise you while we have a chance. Tomorrow is not promised. So we thank you for this day, Father. We thank you for what you have already done what you're going to do, what you will continue to do, Father. As long as we continue to believe in you, trust in you, that you will work it out in our favor, Father. We thank you again, Father, for being a good God, for being an awesome God, for being an understanding God, a forgiving God, a second chance God. Lord, we just thank you for being 
God and God all by yourself. Uh, Lord, we realize that you, you don't have to do anything for us. But Lord, the blessing that you can continue to bestow upon us. Let us not take them lightly, Father. But Lord, you don't have to do anything, but, but why you bless us, Father? Let us continue to praise your name, Father, for, for the blessing. Let us not keep the blessings inside, Lord. Let us let somebody know that we serve an awesome God, that he's worthy to be praised. I don't care what's going on in your life. He's still worthy to be praised. I don't care if death comes on the family. He's still worthy to be praised. I don't care if you're jobless. He's still worthy to be praised. The job that he took you from, he has another one for you. So give him praise for it. Lord, we thank you. We thank you right now, Father, for being just a good God, Father. That someone we can come to when we have nobody else to, to talk to. In our lonely nights, Father, we know we can call upon the name of Jesus and you will come and see about us, Father. We thank you for that opportunity, Father. Somebody don't realize it in here today, Father. Just a little talk with Jesus would make it all right. I believe it in my heart, Father. I've been through some trials and tribulations and all I had to do was just talk to you, Father. You may not work it out when I want you to in the way I want you to, but Lord, I know your own time, God. And you will work it out. He said the victory is already mine. All I have to do is walk in it. Walk in the newness that you have for us, Father. Thank you for the opportunity, Lord, to be one of your children, Lord. I used to be out in the world, Father. Never thought I would be standing in front of your people and, and praying on their behalf anyway. But Lord, since you gave me this opportunity, I will give you all praise and glory right now. Because I know where you brought me from, Father. You're such a good God. You didn't look, leave me where I was at, Father. You came and picked me up, turned me around, and set me on your foundation, Father. I didn't do it by myself. In my strength, I am weak. But in yours, Father, I am strong, Lord. I now say thank you, Father. I ask you to touch somebody in here right now, Father. That's going through whatever they might be going through. And they see no way out. They want to give up, Father. But Lord, I just pray that they just have a little talk with you, Father. Just have a little talk with you. And I know you will come see about them, Lord. Those that's in the hospitals, Father. And the illness is all through their body. Doctors tell them there's no, they don't see no way out of it. But Lord, we realize that you're a doctor of all doctors. You have the last say so, Father. So I just pray, Father, that they have that talk with you, Lord. Before they want to give up. Because Lord, we all have to come and see you one day. But while we're here, Father, before you call us home, let us have a talk with you right here. We thank you, Father. We ask you, Father, that you continue to bless those who's less fortunate. Those that don't even know you in the part of this sin. And she touch it right now, Father. Have your way, Father, throughout this day, throughout this, this service today, Father. Pray that you have your way. Forgive us, Father, when we have fallen short. Strengthen us in our weaknesses. Be with our pastors that come to break the bread of life unto your people. I pray that we come with open ears and open minds to receive your word. And when we receive your word, let us be a blessing to somebody else and go plant a seed. Go plant a seed. Somebody need to hear a word from God. We pray, Father God, that we can be your servants and do your will it was in the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. I pray and ask it all. Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together. Bless God all over this place. Is there anybody blame for God to turn your situation around? Come on, does anybody really believe that? You're here today because God turned it around. And if you just be honest, he's still working on your situation. He's not done yet. Come on, put your hands together that we serve a fix-it kind of God. Let us pray. God, how we thank you. God, how we love you. For yet another opportunity to enter to your house of worship. God, for we realize somebody didn't wake up this week. Somebody didn't wake up today. But God, we thank you that we, you allow these your people to walk into your house of God one more time. God, for we are not deserving of nothing, but all because of your love. God, you gave it all to us. 
when you sent your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, for that old, for old fit the rags like us. So God, we don't want to be ignorant today. We want to give you what you deserve. For you deserve all praise. You deserve all honor. You deserve all glory. Even in the midst of our situation, you still get the glory because we know you're going to turn it around. God, it may not be when we want it to, but God, we know you're always right on time. God, somebody can testify that you have never failed us yet, God. God, we thank you for that, God. And right now, I ask that you send your spirit down in Greater Liberty Baptist Church, God, from the front door to the back door, dear Lord, Father. Lord, just shower down in this place, God. I pray that you stand up in our pastor as he stands and preach your word, God. Let him stand boldly and proclaim the truth of your word. God, be with the choir. Be with our musicians. Be with each and every one of us. Give us a clear mind. Put, put worship on our hearts. And then, Father, Lord, we just want to say thank you. Lord, when it's all said and done, we'll be careful to give you all glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, all the people say, amen. You don't mind standing for our congregation of him. There is a fountain. There is a fountain. Take me with blood from the
Vale Breda, Gilberto, Olga, Gente, Senhora. Somebody can testify I was dirty, but God cleaned me up. Our mission is taken. Let's go. Our mission is to be the world around. Teaching them and how to last in the last grace. Through the God and Son of Jesus Christ. And the truth unto salvation. You may be seated. I shall come and be prepared to worship God than I do. Thank you, Lord.